Dear viewer hope you are safe and sound. Today we are going to discuss about the topic that How to request repeating in English politely. Namely expressions on requesting to repeat. How to request that somebody repeat something. There are times you can't hear or comprehend what others say to you. Do you request that they repeat oneself? Obviously you will. The present circumstance is extremely regular for English local speakers and it will be all the more frequently for you when you are learning English. To begin with, how about we see a few reasons why you will most likely be unable to comprehend in any case. 1. Contraction. For example, you're not conversant in the short nor contracted sounds. For example, want to equals greater than wanna. 2. Accent. You are unable to understand their pronunciation, or their way of speaking. 3. Vocabulary. You can't comprehend the words, it's another word to you. 4. Speed. The speaker is conversing with quick. 5. Noise. An excessive amount of background or surrounding commotion. 6. Interruption. Something causes you can't give full attention to the speaker. For what reason would it be a good idea for you to request repeating? Is it accurate to say that you are humiliated to request repeat? No, don't be humiliated. It is better that you comprehend what the other individual is saying than not. Expressions to respectfully request repeating what others said. Now, we would figure out how to request that somebody repeat the same thing in a respectful manner. In the event that you can't comprehend on account of the highlight or way to express the speaker, you may say, you say pardon, or I beg your pardon, or, in American English, pardon me, when you need somebody to repeat what they have just said because you have not heard or understood it. I beg your pardon, I couldn't quite hear you. Pardon me, could you repeat that please? This is sometimes shortened to, pardon me. Or even pardon? Have you seen a calculator anywhere? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I said, have you seen a calculator? Could you possibly say that again, please? Calculator, see it anywhere? I'm sorry, I still didn't get that. I said, have you seen a calculator anywhere? Can you say that again? Calculator, see it anywhere? One more time. Have you seen a calculator anywhere? No, sorry, nothing. Have you seen a calculator anywhere? Look. I can't hear a word you're saying. I said, have you seen a calculator? Oh, there it is. Rude yet common ways to ask for repetition. These expressions we are about to review are not considered respectful, however, they are things you'll hear in TV shows, films, or with other local speakers. The following is language that's typical of native speakers but should definitely be avoided in any formal or professional settings. Huh? What? A? Eh? If you've got traveled abroad and have had the chance to talk English, you've got to definitely had to ask someone to repeat what they only said a minimum of once. 
There's an infinite sort of accents in English that are very different from one another. Albeit you've got a really well-trained ear which will understand NY or London English, it still could be difficult for you to know those that come from other areas or other countries. And now, the foremost common temptation is to reply with a generic and hurried what? Well, if that has already happened to you, attempt to avoid falling into that trap again. What? is taken into account an uneducated thanks to invite something to be repeated. Also, don't forget that intonation is prime. Once you are speaking English, you risk being impolite if you don't concentrate to the tone of your voice. Since we all know that sooner or later you'll end up during a situation where you'll need to ask someone to repeat something in English, during this article we'll offer you the five commonest ways to try to do so. Example, could you translate this page into do, please? I am sorry. Another sort, however informal way to request for repetition of something that was simply said. For this situation also, it must be pronounced with a slight interrogative intonation. It is somewhat more exquisite than the past articulation however now might be viewed as somewhat older style. Example. Do you know at what time the train is leaving? Pardon? An immediate and powerful approach to demand the reiteration of a sentence. This is additionally a bit more formal but still considered to be informal than the simple and colloquial sorry. Example. Can I have the same three mobiles? That will be 51,000 rupees, please. Could you say that again? Sorry, I didn't catch that. This expression is somewhat more expressed and in a real sense implies that you have not gotten, or heard, information exchanged. It is normally utilized if the issue lies in the becoming aware of the audience, maybe because of ecological commotions or on the grounds that the speaker is talking delicately. The rescue 1122 is very far from here. You have to get into taxi. Sorry, I didn't catch that. It is a bit noisy here. Could you repeat what you said? I am sorry. I don't understand. This expression shows that the issue is as linguistic and is because of either the highlight of the speaker or the way they put themselves out there. With this articulation, you clarify that you didn't comprehend their English. Along these lines, rather than repeating similar sentence with similar tone and similar words, the speaker will attempt to change their method of putting themselves out there, maybe talking more slow or utilizing easier words. Most importantly, in the event that they have utilized slang or adages that you may not yet know, at that point they will put themselves out there all the more by and large and unmistakably. In British English I am sorry. I don't understand, is considered to be slang and impolite. You know very well here is lockdown. Why not go to see your family? I am sorry, I don't understand. Could you repeat that, please? Why not go to see your family? We hope that you have learned a lot from this video, if yes kindly like share and subscribe with comment do not forget pressing the bell icon so that you get notification of coming videos thank you and alec hafiz